cool, just cool, into the mouth. Kaboom, kaboom. But my dad, my dad, what does he do? He stuffs a great big chunk of potato into his mouth. Into the mouth. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. And there was always a whiny kid going. Hard luck, Dave. Always knew you were a bit weak. It spits a potato all over his plate. Nice. Strict. We had a teacher who was so strict, you weren't allowed to keel over and die. No! Keel over and die. <laughs> Hard luck, Dave. Strict. We had a teacher who was so... Nice. Hot teacher. We had a teacher who was so... Hot he had allowed to breathe in her lessons. At the beginning of the week, there were 48 kids in my class. At the end of the week, there were only 48 kids in my class. Oh no, this is horrible. Strict. We had a teacher who was so strict, you weren't allowed to snatch. It was a school pr prison. Oh no, this is a school pr prison. Hard luck, Dave. Chocolate. Prison. When I was a boy, I had a favorite treat. It was when my mum made chocolate. Prison. Listen, Michael, if there's any chocolate prison left over at the end of the day, you can take some to school tomorrow to have at playtime or at lunchtime or at playtime or at play lunch. Oh no, this is shit. So I used to go to school with a piece of chocolate prison in my little cock and I'd be walking to school. Yeah, it's in there. I know it. I know it. I know it. Oh no, this is you, you. And I'd get to school and it would be playtime or play lunch and I'd open up a bag of plums. Nice. No. Plums left. Yeah, I love it, goody. Uh. <laughs> well, look at it. Uh. <laughs> well, look at it. Uh. <laughs> Well, look at it, here's it, yeah. Um, I loved my mum's chocolate plums. Yes. And one time there was some chocolate plums left over at the end of the day. And I went to bed and I was a school pr prison. And then in the middle of the night, I ate a bag of plums, but I thought, chocolate plums. Uh -huh. Maybe I could go downstairs and have a little look at it. Mm. Mm. No one would know. So I got up out of the bed. Shh, I must have wake my teacher who further up along the passage. Careful not to tread on the creaky bag of plums outside mum and dad's bedroom because if they wake up and find me, I'll be in big fucking trouble. So really quiet. Oh no, this is horrible. Are they still asleep? No. Okay. Along the passage, down the stairs, into the kitchen, open the bag of plums. Up and then, yeah, 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 there it is. Can I take it out? Nice. I'm gonna take it out. Just have a little look at it. And then I notice some little plums on the plate. So I think if I lick the end of my finger, I could pick up some of those plums and no one would know anything about it. Oh, yeah, a little, a little sort of sticky bit on there too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I notice on the side of the cake, there's some little crumbly bits just falling off. So I think if I take a knife, I could just tidy it up a little bit. Michael Rosen rap. The Michael Rosen rap. 
Michael Rosen rap. You may think I'm happy, you may think I'm sad, you may think I'm crazy, you may think I'm mad. But hang on to your seats and listen right here, I'm gonna tell you something that'll burn your ears. Hip-hop, 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 I'm giving you all the Michael Rosen rap. I was born. I'm giving you all the Michael Rosen rap.